Hello guys. Um, today I'm going to give you a little closer look of my uh, camper van. Um, my camper van is a Ford E350 Econoline Super Duty. As it sits right now it has about 150,000 miles on it and it runs really smooth. I'm just going to kind of give you uh, a closer look of all the amenities that we have in here. I'll start back here with our carbon monoxide detector and work my way forward. Right there we have the carbon monoxide detector. We put that in uh, for when we're running the Mr. Buddy heater. Just have some storage down along here where we usually have some firewood for when we're camping or something. But uh, right now it's just kind of got a long board and some uh, camping chairs. And here's our cabinet. Just got some storage space right along down in here and uh, down up over here. I just got my knife sharpener and uh, some stuff down in here. So make some good storage space. We just usually throw our duffel bags in there with our clothes and stuff. Down in here we got some more storage. Um, right now we just have our black um, partitioner that we strap along the top here on the velcro you can see right there and it uh, just cross sections off the cab from the back here a little bit better and usually we have our PlayStation down in there which uh, runs to the TV and stuff um, I have my Kotex uh, power um, inverter it's I believe it is uh, 50,000 watt inverter, yep. Yeah. And uh, it's a great brand. Kotex has got great reviews. That's why I went with these guys. Um, they're usually uh, used for uh, to put in boats and things like that. So really good quality. And uh, over here we have our charge solar charge controller. This is a ProStar 15. And my batteries are all topped off right now. And I got this all as a package with my uh, Kirasira solar panel. I'll give you a quick look of that up here. This is a 150 watt Kirasira solar, solar panel. And the solar panel is really good. I went with the uh, Kirasira because uh, they're the only ones I could find on the internet that honored their warranty uh, uh, after installing their units to a vehicle. So that's why I went with them. And uh, that all kind of ties together with the TV and we have our water pump down in here. I don't know if you can see that. That's all turned off right now, but uh, in the summer when we're running our water from our water tank, which is under here. And in here is our water tank and uh, down in there is my uh, batteries. I've got two. Uh, AGM batteries down in there, really great, and uh, just got our you know, water outlet going out there. Just slam that down. And uh, <laughs> all right, guys, uh, moving over to my sink here. This is just a stainless steel sink we picked up at Lowe's. I think it's uh, 13 inches by 13 inches. Just a small little guy, but uh, works good for all we need. And Right here is our little shower spout. Um, we're gonna, when we get going here, I'm gonna do a recap video here in a couple days telling you our future plans here of what we're planning on doing. But um, we're gonna turn this in kind of like a little shower. We'll put a tarp here to block off water from shooting up in there and just kind of uh, build a little structure to uh, sit up on top of the doors there where we can just slide them in and just kind of have the tarp over here and just kind of have a little outdoor camp shower work pretty well. Just kind of give you a roundabout view of the van. I installed these uh, little, they're supposed to keep deer away so That'll be nice. Like using that. On the back here, I have my little hitch haul that I got from Walmart. Um, this thing is where we usually uh, install the cooler when we're going on our trips and stuff. And all the windows, except for the front, are tinted out limousine tint, which makes it really, 
dark in there. You can't even really see in there at night, even when we're using a light. Right here, we uh, installed our water inlet. We also have a connection so we can put city water and just run straight to city water from our sink there. Uh, coming in the back here, sorry, I'm holding my uh, microphone in the other hand to get better quality here. Hope it's not too bad. We also got more storage down under here. Down over there, we have the Dutch oven and stuff and uh, some propane tanks. We got to clean up under there. But we usually uh, just use this for more storage and stuff. This summer, we plan on putting a kind of like a haul carrier, build some kind of stuff to store something in between the solar panel and this uh, uh, sunroof deal right there. And everything's all sealed off with uh, marine goop. Um, caulking marine grade caulking and that stuff's awesome I highly recommend it if you need to do any sealing but yeah going around the other side this is my Ford E350 uh, Super Duty van 2006 and stay tuned guys for a uh, kind of update on our travels here we plan on leaving in about two and a half three weeks uh, still working on the house here. I'll give you a little more in-depth update here in a day or two. But I uh, hope you're all doing great. Just thought I'd give you a little closer look of the van. I know some of the videos it gets kind of dark and you can't really see what's all in here. It's not as big as a lot of camper vans that uh, are on the internet and YouTube right now. But, you know, for us it works great and it's really inconspicuous. So, thank you for watching guys. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.